What's up, guys? This is Coach Nedu um, here at So Training Systems, just answering a couple questions. And uh, today I'm going to talk about cardio addiction, right? Uh, your cardio addiction will not actually help you lose weight. And uh, go to any gym, right? You see people on the treadmills, they're on the ellipticals, and they're there every single day, right? Like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, two hours. They're busting their butt on the uh, cardio machines, yet they're not losing weight wait, I mean, these people are addicted to cardio. But what's going on? So I'm going to talk about two points on, or two reasons as to why your cardio addiction is not helping you lose weight. Number one, uh, this is one of the common myths that you hear a lot when it comes to cardio. The myth is you need to work out in the fat burning zone if you want to burn fat, right? So this is based on uh, the idea or the fact that when you work out at lower intensities, lower intensities, right? So like steady state for extended periods of time, you burn more, a higher percentage of calories from fat as opposed to stored carbohydrates. Now, this has kind of been distorted because in actuality, you end up burning less calories overall. Right. So instead, what you want to focus on is high intensity interval training. So with this, you don't lose muscle. You promote muscle growth and lean muscle mass, but you don't have to work out for as long. So think about 20 minutes of high intensity interval training, and it can literally be anything, any type of movement. You can go hard for 20 minutes. and You actually around on average, you'll burn about 15 calories per minute. Talk about being efficient. Right. Number two, uh, one of these myths are. Cardio is more important than strength training for fat loss. Not entirely, guys. Um, so typically whenever you work out and you do some type of like steady state cardio, you will burn a lot of calories initially, right? So only when you're doing that activity. But that's where it stops. You see, with strength training, about 72 hours after you're done lifting weights, you'll be burning calories afterwards because you want to also repair the muscle build the muscle, and it increases your metabolism. So this is why we want to focus primarily on strength training. And also, if you plan to run a 10K, strength training will help prevent muscle imbalances. So we want both endurance and power training, right, when we're working out. Typically, you'll see people get on, uh, you know, the bike and uh, the spin, you know, spin class, and it's like, I worked out my lower body, right? That counts as a lower body workout, not entirely. So whenever you're doing, like, a lot of, like, running or you're doing a spin class, you're working those slow-twitch muscle fibers. We want to work those power-generating muscle fibers, those fast-twitch muscle fibers, and that comes from lifting heavy weights because, again, this promotes lean muscle so that we're burning calories 72 hours after we're actually doing the activity. So you get more bang for the bucks even when you're sitting on the couch burning calories. That's what we want. And here's a bonus one I'm going to give you. Uh, can you really count on cardio machines? Not entirely. Now, yes, we've come a long way with cardio machines. Uh, they've improved. They continue to get better. But there was a study bun done by the University of California that actually showed ellipticals had up to 42% overestimation on the amount of calories that you're actually burning. And then I think it was like 17% for treadmills. So in fact, fitness technology or like uh, fitness trackers are actually a better way to track your calories as opposed to doing it on a machine. Because think about it, those machines are there forever, right? They're expensive. Tons of people get on them and use them improperly. So there's probably going to be something wrong with those machines. So you have a better, uh, you'll get better results listening to uh like your fitness trackers right they're more closer closely accurate so guys that is it for today uh cardio addictions will not help you lose weight and that is why uh stay tuned for uh tomorrow and also i have a special promotion we got going on here at stoke training systems below in the comments so next time i'm out guys